most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist and probably the most ugly physical therapist on the internet. <laughs> oh, Bob. In our opinion, of course. In his opinion. <laughs> All right. Today we're going to talk about best sleeping position for back pain, sciatica, leg pain. Uh, we've already done one on basically the kind of the waist up, the more the neck, the tr upper uh, trunk, upper trunk and mm -hmm. arm. So I'll link that at the end. If you can wait all the way till the end, I'll I'll show the link to that. Sure. See how I did that, Brad? Yeah, you're working on it. Bob. Okay. Today um, we're gonna. These are a lot of great tips. Um, so you want to pay attention, and uh, we got a lot of them. So let's start off with. First off, you want to make sure your back is lined up well um, when you're sleeping. You want to make sure you're not in a rounded out position sure. like this. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure your mattress isn't saggy. Right. If you got a big hole in it, it's a really soft master mattress, and it's used, it's a number of years old, you know. Right. You probably know if you have it. And so if you want to see if it's going to feel a lot better to get a firmer mattress or a new mattress, you might take your mattress and put it on the floor because mm -hmm. that would kind of give it a solid. Right. Or uh, you can do what my wife and I did when we first were married and we didn't have money, is we took a, a piece of plywood and we put it between the box spring and the mattress and that took the sag out of it. But you did put the mattress back on. We did put the mattress okay. back on, and we didn't break the box. <laughs> so, but that worked out really good, actually. It's a family show, Bob. Yeah, okay. All right, the, the next thing you may want to try is um, when you're sleeping on your back, one thing that some people have recommended, and uh, Mulligan was one of them again, Brian right. Mulligan, is to actually take a sheet, because you want to keep... Again, the back in the neutral position, you don't want it to round out right. like this. So it, for some people, especially if they're having back pain and in the throes of back pain, they right. want to try yep. this. Yep. So you start, you take a, a long sheet and you roll it up like this. And you start in the front like this. I don't want to get my microphone. And then you go around like this. And it actually doubled up in the back a little bit. Right. Do you see that, Brad? The whole idea is you want to make some a uh, cushion here to take up that space to support that low back so it doesn't go into that hole, if you will. Right, the, keeps the, the arch. Right. And so you can pin this in place or tape it in place. Right. So let me show you here. When I'm laying on my back, it provides my back some support. Right. But beyond that even is when I lay on my side. If, I, if you especially have wide shoulders and wide hips, mm -hmm. you know, um, the back is going to sag down right. like this. You're gonna get that sag. There's going to be yeah. a hollow spot there. Right. If the if the if this isn't in place, this actually keeps you, the back aligned nice and straight while you're in this position. Sure. So now, the thing about sheets is they're they're not very soft. If you actually they they make them and they work. I think a lot better in a sheet, but you know, you can do the use. You can start with this and right. if it works out well, then our camera woman. Come on, Lonnie. Lonnie, come on down to the price is right. Yeah. This is so a, this is tied in place. Yeah, this is actually can you lift that arm up? This is a, a McKenzie um, lumbar what they call it, lumbar um, sleep board? roll. Oh it's sleep roll. Sleep roll, okay, exactly. Gotcha. And we got it wrapped around, you tie it in the front like this. It does not need to be in the front like the sheet does, just on the sides and in the back. Why don't you lay down with it, Lonnie? And Lonnie has never tried one of these before, and she laid down with it just a little bit ago, and she immediately said, what did you say? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so then you can roll on your side, Lonnie. Yep. And the same thing, again, keeps her back nice and straight when she's on her side. Right. It fills in that hollow spot to support that lumbar spine. You can actually do that even if, if, if you sleep on your side all the time. Mm -hmm. And you could actually even just put a small pillow there. Sure. I mean, yep. that, that would do Something the job, Something that's going to, you'll know, because if it's right size, it's going to feel good. Thanks, Lonnie. She likes it so much, she's going to wear it all day, she said. <laughs> so she'll be the talk of the town. <laughs> All right, um, and another thing that works out quite well, especially uh, for people who are having kind of severe back pain, is to sleep on your back and to put a pillow underneath your legs. Sure. Or a wedge. Yep. So let's do, should we do the pillow first? Sure. Let's. So I'm sleeping on my back. I, I would have a pillow here too, but. We'll give you, a, we're going to give you the deluxe. You might need it under my legs though. Oh, there we go, yeah. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. So a pillow underneath the legs, it just, it takes off some of the, the hip flexors aren't pulling on the back now like right. they were, mm -hmm. and so you're not getting as much stress in your back. It would be better probably with two. Depends on how thick your pillow is, how big your body is. Bob's a tall guy. He yeah, probably needs two. I need two. And that actually does feel really good, Brian. Right. Um, really does take some of the stress off the back. But let's show the deluxe position here, right. Brad. And this is... Uh, 
This is something I use a lot with patients and most of them are very happy when yeah. you put one I of was, these leg wedges. I was in. really shocked about this, how yeah. good this feels. Right. It's, it's like you said, even if, if you support the legs like this, yep. this does not feel nearly as good as if he shoves that. <laughs> right up against that the buttocks. Wedge, yeah, up and the buttocks. And it touches the hamstrings, and there's something about that that helps relax oh, and support the pelvis. Oh, it does. This is very comfortable, uh, back pain or no back pain. Um, and this is going to stop you from sleeping on your side, too. Yeah, to exactly, understand. yeah. So I have one of these at home, and when I have a back problem, if I'm out working in the yard or doing some stuff that I shouldn't be doing, I got a backache, I use this. I put a cold pack under my bed, under my back, and then I fall asleep. Yeah. I wake up later and take the cold pack out, and sometimes I'll take this out, and sometimes I won't. And if you want to try to simulate that at home without one of the wedges, you could lay on the floor, put your feet up on the couch, uh, it wouldn't be quite the same, but it would still get take some of the stress off the back. Right. And you could put your hot your cold pack, or you could put a hot pack, I guess, on there too. Remember? Sure. Yeah. Cold, some cold, people prefer that. Cold packs, I think, are quite quite often better. Uh, when you're sleeping on your s side, Brad, do you need that yet? Or? Well, I was just gonna say, if you if you want it there, it's called a leg wedge, and just Google leg wedge, and you'll oh, see sure. many pictures of them. You can buy them. Yeah, we actually did a video on just that alone. We did. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, when you're sleeping on your side, what you may want to do um, is actually use a pillow between the legs. Sure. Um, this is what we call the stacked position. So my legs are stacked on top of each other, mm -hmm. and uh, the pillow. How, again, helps keep the spine aligned and stops the spine from rotating. Sure. So it, it works really well with that. If you're a person that likes to um, sleep with the leg a little bit forward, mm -hmm. then you may want to actually use two pillows and, and get it up a little bit higher like that. Then you got no pillow for your head, Bob. I know, that's a problem. <laughs> you got to go buy some more pillows. Yeah, you're going to need lots of pillows. <laughs> um, the and other thing about this is it takes stress off the hip. Yes, it does. If you've got hip yeah. bursitis or uh, hip uh, arthritis, this can Very be, good point, Brad. Yeah. And what's nice about this, you know, because on the upper extremity, we talked about giving the arm support yeah. like this. You actually can flip around like this, Brad. I mean, sure. it doesn't, it's not that hard to do. You could uh, switch positions. And, and this way, like if my wife is mad at me and she's not sleeping in bed with me, then I got something to hold on to. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> and I think there's a lot of nights like that. <laughs> All right. Um, we did all that. Oh, the one thing I was going to mention is, and I don't know why this is, but Brad confirmed this too. Um, there's a lot of people that when they're having, you know, in the throes of back pain and they're really having a lot of back pain, they sleep in a recliner. Yeah. I, I, I've had people that, and the, the thing we want to remind you if you're sleeping in a recliner, I don't want you sleeping in a, kind of in a humped position mm -hmm. like this. Put a throw pillow or something behind your back so you're nice and straight. And then back like this to the recliner. Right. Yeah, back it up as far as you can go. Have that lumbar support there. Uh, I just don't feel I don't feel confident in saying sleep in your recliner. But there are people they're going to sleep right. in the recliner. Right. And that's what I mean. That, that, that's that's a, there must be some merit to it because I've had people that I mean a lot of people and then they probably discover it because they they aren't able to sleep so they get up and watch TV and then they find out they can, they can sleep in the recliner right. and and. They, I, I've had people even like years later that had to continue to sleep in the recliner because it brings on pain if they don't. Yeah. So there, there's it, not much you that, can do if that's that's the issue. Yeah, I'm not going to advocate it though unless that's what works, I guess. All right. Um, the final thing is we talked about: is it okay for you to sleep on your stomach? You know, a lot of people think, oh, you can't sleep on your stomach; it puts your your back in too much of a sway back. Mm -hmm. That's usually not the case. Uh, quite often. Um, yeah, there, if, if you've been sleeping on your stomach and you don't have back pain, I'd go ahead and keep doing it, right. wouldn't you, Brad? Yeah, uh, neck, and we're neck always pain. concerned about the neck because your right. head is twisted one way or another. Um, so we oftentimes say avoid sleeping on your stomach because of the neck, not so much the back. Right. Unless you've got a big saggy bed and you're sleeping in a kind of a hole in reverse, maybe that would be uh, undesirable. But You might uh, try sleeping with a pillow underneath your stomach. Sure. You know, I yeah. mean, that, I mean, if, again, if, if, if you're having a lot of back pain, sometimes it's weird, the, the positions that help you. Right, exactly. So. Sleeping on the floor. Some, and I've had people oh, with yeah. back pain sleep on the floor because it's a firm surface, gets that spine in line. And I had this uh, one woman, she slept on the floor for over a month 
and she felt better sleeping on the floor than in her bed. Did she use a, back a full mattress or anything? No, it was carpeted. It was carpeted? Yeah, it was carpeted um, floor. Uh, I, I know. I've, I've, I Mulligan recommended that, too, yep. to go ahead and sleep on McKenzie the floor. Mackenzie will so. work with that sometimes, so. too. All right, lots of tips, lots of things you can uh, think about, and uh, please comment below because we always like to hear from you. Right, Brad? Well, yeah, but... There's one other thing that we're going to work on, and we're still having is that broken heart. Oh, that's Can you right. get that to come up there? Yeah, here's the f broken heart, and now we're going to fix it in our, with our mind. Yeah. Telepathically. Mm, yeah, you're going to make it go together, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all digital. <laughs>